Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you guys with a little story time and another mukbang. Look at they. I just took them off the stove. I made some mussels and there's some sun-dried tomatoes and it's cooked in a tomato white wine Moscato sauce. Oh, they smell so good. I am really excited to ready to eat these. That's my dog. She's right over here drooling on my floor. And I got some wine to go along with it. As you can tell, I got lots of wine that I use for cooking and I drink it too because I'm, you know, a cheap hoe. So. Look at them. They're like all up in it. Mm. So the other day I was out doing some errands and I love like cracking these open. I wish they made like a cracking sound, but they don't. I was out doing some errands the other day and I stopped by my house. When I say errands, I mean like I went to Petco and the dog park. So I stopped by my house so that I could get some stuff, get Marcy some food um, cause it was her lunch time and I was on my way. And after that I was gonna go and pick up, you know, Jinx, y'all seen him in videos here on my YouTube channel. I was gonna go pick him up from work cause his, uh, cause his girlfriend was at work. So he obviously could not <laughs> get picked up by her. So I was gonna go pick him up. And after she eats, I always take her on a walk. Even though we just went into the park, but I always take her on a walk after she eats regardless. Cause she drinks a lot of water and then she usually ends up having to pee afterwards. These are so good. Oh my God. What the hell? I need to make this more often. I wonder how the sun dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomato. It kind of tastes like a raisin. I don't hate it. So anyway, so I'm outside walking my dog. And all of a sudden, I hear like a series of loud popping noises. And my first thought is, is that it's fireworks. And then there's so many back to back that I'm like, that is not fireworks. <laughs> This one's empty. Just like look at them. They're just like in there looking so fucking good. So anyway, so I look, you know, I head look in the direction of the, uh, of where the sound is coming from, you know, walk a little bit. Cause I live right by the, the main entrance of the neighborhood. And it was like right outside the main entrance of the neighborhood. What it is, is there's one car shooting at a bunch of people who are trying to get into their car. Just like casually, like I was one does apparently. Like there's, there's a shooting at this other car. And there I am with my dog, just sitting there, just standing there like, What? So once I like realize what's kind of going on, you know, I'm like, you know, steps from my door. We go inside. And we wait for this shooting to stop. <laughs> as I go inside, as if I, like, I casually was like, oh, well that's happening, let's go inside. Like, no, like I ran inside. Like I picked up the dog and I ran. And um, we just go inside and like we wait. And then like 
you just hear the sound of like a car like peeling off, like you know that like screeching tire sound. And I see all of my neighbors have come outside now. You know, I ran inside. They're all running out. Woo! I got it. And now the police have pulled up. Like it took the police like three minutes to get here, by the way. The fastest police response I've ever seen. Next thing I know, there's like 30 bajillion cops. Right. There's like 30 bajillion cops pulling up. And they block off the entire neighborhood. Like, ain't nobody coming or going. So, like, the cops question, like, everyone. And I'm like, I didn't see who people were. I was here. But I didn't. Like, I'm like, I probably could have provided some information about, like, the car or something. Had I not run away <laughs> trying not to be like, fuck, I don't need a shot. Everyone's trapped in the neighborhood for, like, two hours and nobody can like leave and nobody can get in so like my wife is like on her way home from work when it happened right so she has to park like down the street and i like walk to her and i'm like let's go get food because like there was a shooting and, like, finally the police are like they don't like break down the br the 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 barricade or like not the barricade. It was a police line. You can't cross it. And so they finally, after several many hours, they're like, "Oh yeah, you can totally leave." Because they've questioned everybody and looked up everybody, and they've gotten like like fifty something statements now. And I was stressed, so obviously I went and ate a bunch of food. Last one. Oh, look! It's so many I ate. Good, it was fucking good. I'm gonna have to make this for myself again sometime because it was fucking delicious. Uh, some people have requested me to eat certain foods. Today I ate scallops because I really wanted them today um but someone requested i do crab legs so i will be doing crab legs in the future so if you are like i love mukbangs and i want to see you eat like a thing of lobster ravioli <laughs> say it i'll do it comment it down below what you would like to see and i will definitely get to that i will definitely do it i have so much fun doing these videos because i'm fat and i like to eat a bunch of food I eat five meals a day, so I love eating a bunch of food, so any excuse to eat more is always good for me. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave a negative comment down below, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters.